folks, Mark Johnson, Tech Snobs, brand new Galaxy Note 3. It's on AT&T. It's the latest and greatest flagship from Samsung. We're going to find out more. So we got the Galaxy Note 3. Um, definitely highly anticipated device from Samsung. This is the AT&T, as you can see. Um, you know, pretty bare bones on the box. Not like um, some of the other more recyclable uh, materials, you know, I've seen that they, they did with the, uh, the S4. So... Let's get into it. Really excited about it. I mean, this thing has a, of course, it's got the 1080p display, 5.7 inch um, with the screen size on it. So let's get right into it. Uh, you got your quick start guide. It's got all the features, the air gesture sensor. You can see, you know, with the, uh, the diagram here, front facing camera, all that good stuff. Big monstrous device as we, can, we always know it to be. So we'll set that to the side. See what the note packs in this time. So we got the SIM card. All right. So big, thick health and safety warranty guide. Pretty and you know still pretty much bare bones. I see. I forgot what this is for. I heard about it, but I'm not sure exactly what this is for. I have to look that up. Micro USB cable. Oh, and what's good about this one? This one actually supports USB 3.0. So as you can see, it's a dual. So on one side, you got it's uh, the USB 3.0 adapter. So this definitely helps you if you want to transfer a lot of data uh, manually to the Note 3. So that's definitely looking forward to testing this out. So USB 3.0, it also can, uh, it's got a higher uh, milliamp hour rating so you can um, charge it faster. So this new cable should definitely be good there. Uh, unfortunately, you still, no headphones in the box and you got your normal power plug adapter. Now, here's to the battery, uh, which is one of the things we've been, the Note's always literally had great um, battery life. So this one, let's see what we get with the latest. Okay, so here you get 3200 milliamp hour battery. So that's going to be fantastic. Absolutely. So we're going to get into the device itself. And one thing right off the back that I noticed, the back, it has this kind of leathery feel uh, to it. Um, you can see the stitching you know on the side of it. Definitely much improved feel on the back of the device. I mean just by touching it feels much better. I know it's still plastic but it's definitely not as flimsy and, um, and you know and bad as it used to be so definitely that's pretty cool keeping that in mind as well. So get the battery in there and then also you see the micro SD and the SIM card stacked on top of another one another, which is a great, I like that too. Um, you know, it just makes things a little bit easier to get to. 13 megapixel camera on the back, power button still on the right, volume rocker there. At the bottom, you see the connector for the micro USB and the USB 3.0. You still got the, the S Pen, of course, and this time you can put it in any direction. Actually, well, two different directions instead of. Uh, one before infrared beam up top, micro USB, excuse me, headphone jack. And while we got this thing, we're going to power it up. While we're waiting to power it up, let's go ahead and make some comparisons. Um, first thing we're going to do, we're going to compare it. Get the plastic off too. We're going to go ahead and compare it to the Galaxy Note 2. So there it is, front series to the Note 2. And what's so good about it is the fact that it's literally the same uh, body. I mean, it's really not much bigger at all, as you can see. Um, and, and they've stretched the screen side. They got rid of some of the bezel. You can see on the right side, the bezel is, is not as much as it's on the, uh, the Note 3. So definitely, they did a great job there. Also going to go ahead and compare to the, the S4. And of course, you can see it, it does dwarf the S4 pretty big there, but the S4 is still a big device. I mean, it's got a 5-inch screen versus a 5.7 on the Note, so definitely, um, you know, it's, it's still bigger, but it's definitely very similar. Nice chrome on around the side, the, the nice metal finish it looks like, so that's good. And then, of course, our favorite, the, the Galaxy Mega. And, and it just gives you an idea how crazy big the Mega is. I mean, it kills the Note 3 as far as in the size still. So uh, the Mega, you know, it has mid-range specs, but obviously 
much, much, much bigger uh, than the Note 3. But the specs on the, the Mega don't come anywhere near close to Note 3. So keep that in mind as well. And last but not least, we'll compare it to the iPhone 5S. And you can see, uh, as would be expected, it dwarfs the iPhone 5S all the way around. So, and that's pretty much the gist of it there. Um, like I said, beautiful 1080p, uh, 1080p display. We're going to go through some of that later. And let's just see if we can get into some of the phone stuff. And I'm, the screen is really popping out um, as we speak. Definitely like a lot of what I see. So here we go. Uh, front and center. Nice, beautiful display. Real crisp. I definitely like what I see. Let's jump into apps and just see what's on it. Of course, you got a lot of AT&T apps on here. Uh, Chrome pre-installed, of course. Some more games down at the bottom. Uh, Hotspot. Polaris office. You got your S Health now. We'll track all that. Something called Pen Up. Of course, your watch on. And yeah, pretty pretty much standard stuff is what I usually see on a lot of um, Samsung devices. So let's go on the set. I just want to see how much storage is in here from the get go. Okay, so as you can see, 32 gigs of storage on this device and out of the box you get 25.21 um, gigabytes so that's definitely pretty decent um, I'm glad they it's 32 gigs now um, so that should definitely ease some pain and of course you can add a micro SD card so we're gonna be back with more with the Note 3 of course we're gonna start playing around with it getting into it a lot see what it's all about and thanks for watching folks be sure to check out the site tech-knobs.com for more coverage and definitely this Note 3, it's definitely very nice. I like the back of it, so we're going to see how it fares in the full review. Thanks for watching. Take care.